On March 12, 2025, astronomers confirmed the existence of four previously unknown exoplanets orbiting Barnard's star, a red dwarf located six light years from Earth. These small, rocky planets, each between 20% and 30% of Earth's mass, complete their orbits in just a few days. This discovery represents a major step in detecting smaller, Earth-like planets. In this video, we will explore the detection methods, characteristics of these planets, and their broader significance in exoplanet science. Barnard's star, in the constellation Ophiuchus, has fascinated astronomers since its discovery by E. E. Barnard in 1916. It is the second closest star system to our Sun, after Alpha Centauri, and has the highest proper motion of any known star, shifting across the sky by the diameter of the Moon every 180 years. Over decades, claims of planets orbiting Barnard's star have been made, but many were later disproven, including the famous 1960s claim of a Jupiter-sized planet, which was later found to be due to instrumental errors. The breakthrough came with the use of two advanced instruments, Maroon X on the Gemini North Telescope in Hawaii and Espresso on the Very Large Telescope in Chile. These instruments employ the radial velocity method, which measures minute shifts in a star's movement caused by the gravitational pull of orbiting planets. Maroon X, specifically designed for detecting small planets around red dwarfs, can measure stellar movements as slight as one meter per second, akin to a slow walking pace. It's a really exciting find. Barnard's star is our cosmic neighbor, and yet we know so little about it, said Ritvik Basant, PhD student at the University of Chicago and lead author of the study. The unprecedented precision of these instruments has allowed the detection of planets far smaller than those previously observed. The four planets orbiting Barnard's star are some of the smallest exoplanets ever detected using the radial velocity method. Their masses, ranging between 20% and 30% of Earth's, suggest they are likely rocky rather than gaseous. However, Current technology makes it difficult to confirm their composition. What sets these planets apart is their extreme proximity to Barnard's star. Their orbital periods range from just 1.5 to 7 days, meaning their years are shorter than a single Earth week. For comparison, Mercury, the closest planet to our Sun, takes 88 days to complete an orbit. Due to their closeness, these planets are likely tidally locked, with one hemisphere in perpetual daylight and the other in constant darkness. This would create extreme temperature contrasts, potentially making them inhospitable. While red dwarf stars are smaller and cooler than the Sun, the proximity of these planets likely places them outside the habitable zone. Additionally, red dwarfs are known for their frequent and intense stellar flares, emitting ultraviolet and X-ray radiation that can strip away planetary atmospheres. If these planets have maintained atmospheres, they may have strong magnetic fields or other protective mechanisms. Due to the system's orientation relative to Earth, these planets do not transit Barnard's star, meaning astronomers cannot use transit spectroscopy to analyze their atmospheres. However, their detection alone is an important milestone demonstrating that small, rocky planets are more common than previously believed. The Barnard Star Planetary System joins a growing list of fascinating nearby exoplanet discoveries. Perhaps the most comparable system is Proxima Centauri, our closest stellar neighbor at just 4.2 light-years away. In 2016, astronomers discovered Proxima b, a planet 1.3 times the mass of Earth orbiting within the habitable zone. More recently, Proxima d was identified, with a mass similar to the Barnard star planets. Another notable discovery is the TRAPPIST-1 system, located about 40 light years away. It hosts seven Earth-sized planets, three of which are in the habitable zone, making them prime candidates for further study. 
Like the Barnard star planets, these worlds orbit a red dwarf, reinforcing the idea that compact planetary systems are common around such stars. These discoveries suggest that small, rocky planets are widespread around red dwarfs, which make up approximately 75% of stars in the Milky Way. If most red dwarfs host multiple planets, the total number of planets in our galaxy could exceed a trillion. We found something that humanity will hopefully know forever. That sense of discovery is incredible, said Jacob Bean, professor at the University of Chicago. This detection represents a major milestone in exoplanet science, as it proves that our capability to find increasingly smaller planets is rapidly improving. Looking forward, technological advancements will allow for deeper exploration of these planetary systems. The James Webb Space Telescope has already begun characterizing exoplanet atmospheres with unprecedented detail and upcoming missions such as NASA's Habitable Worlds Observatory planned for the 2040s, will enable even more precise observations. Ground-based efforts are advancing as well. The Extremely Large Telescope, ELT, currently under construction in Chile, will feature a 39-meter primary mirror capable of collecting enough light to analyze exoplanet atmospheres for potential biosignatures. The discoveries around Barnard's star will help prioritize which systems deserve the most attention from these next-generation instruments. With continuous improvements in detection techniques, astronomers anticipate finding even more planets around Barnard's star and other nearby stars. Current instruments can detect planets down to about 0.2 Earth masses, but future advances may reveal even smaller bodies, possibly as small as Mars or even the Moon. Each discovery enhances our understanding of planetary system formation and evolution, helping us place our own solar system in a broader cosmic context. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this exploration of Earth's cosmic neighbors, be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more discoveries from the universe.